right guys i'm currently having an issue with my daily driver truck this is uh you guys have seen this on the channel a couple times it is my 2005 ford f350 with the 60 power stroke in it and the issues i'm having with it I, in the start of this video you guys saw this truck cranked over for a very long time and it's been doing that for quite some time now i'd say the last couple of months and to be honest with you i didn't think anything of it up until a few weeks ago uh, I fired my truck up and I it's getting cold now we're in October and I let it run for a few minutes and I went to go head to work and I pulled out of my driveway and the truck literally fell on its face like it was like sounded like it was running on like two cylinders it wouldn't move it was bogging spitting sputtering anything you can think of and I have an SCT tuner in this truck so I pulled up the codes and I'll put the codes up in the video here so what those codes are is they are all leading to injector low circuits so not enough voltage going into the injectors that led me to believe that my FICM the fuel injection control module isn't properly firing the injectors with enough voltage so I went to my buddy's house that has a, a scan tool that reads the FICM voltage as you're driving and I'm going to plug that into the video right here. It's the top right number that uh, it's a number followed by the letters FMP and you saw that it dropped to 26.5 volts and that is horrible. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible for a FICM. Ford recommends anything below 45 volts, your FICM's done, it needs to be replaced. The cause of this is weak batteries, I guess. I actually just put brand new OEM Ford batteries in this truck last year because I was noticing that the batteries were pretty weak, so I'm wondering if that's what killed my FICM potentially. I, I'm not, I am not positive. So I put new Ford batteries in it and I was driving all year and that's when I started noticing the long cranks and I didn't really think anything of it up until it just completely fell on its face a couple weeks ago. And then I did that diagnosing and I realized my FICM's junk. So I ordered a new one. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, for any of you guys that are doing this job, the FICM is located underneath the degas bottle. It's a pretty easy job, actually. You just kind of have to move the uh, degas bottle out of the way and potentially the um, air intake boot going into the turbo, maybe. So, kind of see that, that um, aluminum piece with the ribs on it that is the thickum right there um so once you get the degas bottle up out of the way it's pretty easy to access there's just four bolts on top and then a couple connectors and plug the new one in tighten the new one down you're you're done so before we start taking out my old thickum um this is my new one here and i just wanted to give a shout out to the company i got it from thickumrepair.com there's their number i will also attach their website in the description below I just want to say, honestly, Ed over there and the guys, top notch. I can't say enough good about them. And they they don't just specialize in Fickums. They do they have parts for uh, uh, Cummins and uh, Duramaxes as well, and any other sort of parts you might need for your Power Stroke. They they just it's a top notch company. Honestly, they're just very nice. They're helpful with anything. Um, I would highly recommend. This is the Ultra with the lifetime warranty on it and it's got upgraded internals in it. Ed and the guys over there tune them so you can have a um, just OEM setting one, eco setting, the Atlas 40, which is what I did. So it's an additional 40 horse to the rear wheels and you can go up to Atlas 80 and then you can do Hercules, which is a hundred horse. I do some light towing with my truck and a 40 will do just fine. Great customer service, just top notch quality guys. Uh, I'd recommend anyone to go there. So let's uh, let's get my old fig em out and put this one in. All right, 
right guys, we got the two front bolts off the Fickham here and I realized that the bracket on the front of the, the front two bolts on the Fickham bracket actually bolts to the intake as well. So I removed one of the bolts and loosened up the bottom ones enough to kind of move it around to get the Fickham out of there. I think this has been out before because there was no rubber bushings on my Fickham. So I don't think this is an original Fickham to the truck. Um, I don't know if that international part number means anything. And then there's also that as well. My truck's blocking the garage right now. So I need to get this, this back in and get the truck moving and I'll get these rubber gaskets on order. First part of all this is I'm gonna have to take this back off again <laughs> to put those bushings off. I'm not gonna have to reconnect the connector. So I got all three connectors in and I heard them all three click and the two back bolts are on. When I get those rubber bushings, I can kind of just take the bolts out and slide them on the holes here. But I'm gonna put this intake uh, bracket back on the intake and put the intake back on and uh, start wrapping this thing up. It's very hard to video this. Everything's really tight in here and it's just not easy. Buttoned up, let's get those last two Fickham bolts back on. And then put the degas bottle on, this job's done until I get those rubber bushings. Here we are the next day. Uh, I want I wanted to let the truck um, sit for a while overnight. Let's uh, let's fire the truck up and see how long it takes to crank, and let's see. If, hopefully, this Fickham solved it. My first reaction with this new uh, Fickham from Fickham Repair, the injector buzzer is a night and day difference. It's so loud, it sounds healthy. Let's take this thing for a test drive and see how it does. I'm gonna let it warm up for a few minutes and we'll take it for a drive. My immediate driving reaction so far with this new Fickham is I have noticed that the acceleration is absolutely night and day. I know I did the Atlas 40 tune on this new Fickham, but <clears throat> compared to what this truck was before, it's not even it's not even comparable, I guess. Like it right now it feels like I'm driving a gas job truck right now. It's just the throttle's right there, it's nice and smooth. Um Definitely worth, I would say, getting that Atlas 42. It's like 150 bucks from Fickham Repair. People are probably gonna end up wondering if the truck's gonna end up smoking more. I have a tow tune with my SCT tuner on this truck as well currently. And uh, the truck didn't smoke at all before unless you like legit put it to the floor and let out a little bit of a puff. 
and to show that it doesn't smoke that much. It lets out a little puff and that's about it really with this new Ficum in it. So I was just messing around with my SCT tuner. This is the X4 model. And I'm happy I did. I did not know that it could do this, but if you can see that top left gauge right there, that's the internal thicker voltage, and I'm pumped about that. And as you can see, it's sitting at 48 volts and 48.5. That's right where you want it. So uh, I just wanted to plug that in and show you that this repair is definitely now fixed. It's just overall, the performance and everything is just much better. I know I did the Atlas 40. Uh, I'm sure if you did the OEM tune Fickham, it just, it'd be fine, but it'd feel like a stock truck. Uh, I'm really happy with that 40 horse tune. It's not some souped up race truck. It's just got a little bit of power to get out of its own way. Um, very happy with it. So if you guys need a Fickham or any, any sort of diesel parts, I would highly recommend Fickham Repair. They want to set you up right. They're not going to try to sell you on anything you don't need. Or um, So if you like this truck, uh, I'll keep doing some work on this truck when, when it comes by. But right now, it's I'd say it's pretty good. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, guys. I appreciate it.